Good morning and welcome to another edition of the Hidden Gem Screencast. My name is Arden Thomas. I'm the Syncom Small Talk Product Manager and today we'll be discussing the VisualWorks 1.15 Loader. This is a, a really useful tool and technique for those of you who have multiple versions of VisualWorks installed on their systems. It's also extremely useful, I find, if you install and test the weekly development builds. So where do we find the loader first of all? Let's take a look at a distribution here. We'll go to preview, bin, and here it is right here. This is the VisualWorks loader right here, the application will be using that. And we'll also be showing you how to set, your, set up your, your configuration settings to use this. Now a couple notes of how I have this arranged here. I recently changed and updated this and recommend something like this. What I have is I'm on a Windows installation. I have on my C drive. I created a directory called VisualWorks and I have all my installations here. So for major releases and maintenance releases, those are under their appropriate names. And for development builds, I have them under the build name so I basically keep everything well organized and I know exactly what it is. What the loader will do for us is it will make sure that you're using the, the proper home setting and the proper VM when you launch an image for whatever, whatever image that is, whatever version of the product it is. So there's basically three steps that I recommend to use this properly. The first thing to do is to move the loader to a neutral place so basically you're not reinstalling it and changing your settings each time. So I basically use VisualWorks Launch and I moved all the loader files right here. Uh, you'll also see there's a, there's a nice README file which I recommend uh, going through. So that's step one. Step two is going to your image and setting the properties to use the VisualWorks loader that you've moved to that neutral place. So here it is. I use the VisualWorks 1.15 loader to open up my image files. We'll say OK. Third step, well, let's try to open this VisualWorks 8.1.1 image. And it says it can't find a virtual machine. That's because I don't have the right settings available in my configurations. Now I've simply commented them out here so I could reinstall them quickly. What this has is three pieces. First, the signature. Second is the path and the VM that's, that's proper for that signature. And the third is the home directory for that. Those are three pieces. These last two have a question mark between them as part of the syntax. So with that now uh, that setting now active, let me save this. We'll come back and we'll try this again. And that opens just fine. So I will close down that image. Now if I try a 64-bit image, I get a similar kind of thing right here. And I can go and install my setting for the 64-bit. I'll save that. So again, the signature, the proper, notice Win64, VM, path and VM, and the home directory. Make sure that's saved and start this. And that starts just fine. So that's it. That's the VisualWorks 7, uh, VisualWorks 1.15 loader. I recommend it. I thank you for watching this screencast. If you have any questions, comments, please send them to athomas at syncom.com. If you have any suggestions for future screencasts, please let me know as well. Until next time, have a great day.